former Zambian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Harry Kalaba, says there's nothing wrong with the conduct of Ibed Angel in the so-called Al Jazeera documentary, The Gold Mafia. He says as a presidential envoy and an ambassador at large, Angel had every right to use every trick in the book to attract investors. The former minister explains this in an interview. Uh, look, I, I think for me, the issue of the documentary on the God scam in Zimbabwe uh, concerning President Munangagwa and his administration and then involving Ambassador Uber Angel doesn't amount to much because uh, diplomats have to go beyond the call of duty to convince investors that uh, they have the ear of the principal, uh, who is the president, that they're the rightful ones to convince you to to go in their country. And remember, we are competing for the same investors, same interests. And so one has to use the ingenuity to make sure that they attract their investors in their, uh, in their country. And so there's nothing strange about what we saw behind the scenes. And remember, the conversation is being held behind the scenes. Diplomats do all kinds of things in trying to convince uh, investors to go in their jurisdiction. Some have to throw cocktails. Some have to invite people for holidays. Some have to do all kinds of things to invite investors to go and invest in their own country. He said, Ubed Angel and President Emerson Nangagwa rather have to be encouraged in the face of the sanctions by the U.S. government than being vilified. We have to understand it from the perspective of the sanctions that Zimbabwe is going through. Zimbabwe has been going through excruciating sanctions and President Mnangagwa needs to be encouraged instead of being vilified. Uh, Ambassador Ubed Angel also has to be encouraged, you know, he is doing a lot of good for his country amid his, all these challenges, and he has managed to put his name to his country's uh, uh, growth uh, um, and economic emancipation. Therefore, uh, from where I stand, there's nothing strange about that documentary. Only that somebody had uh, ulterior motives, wanting to reach a certain conclusion in order to cement their argument. But truth be told, that's what all diplomats, uh, most diplomats do behind the scenes. Mr. Kalaba said there was no proof that monies were transferred into the account of Ibed Angel and therefore the documentary was unconvincing and frivolous. Behind the scenes so much is said, but unfortunately we are seeing it and trying to portray that uh, monies were going in people's pockets and from that documentary I've seen, there is no evidence there to show that money was going in uh, Ambassador Angel's uh, account or President Manangagwa's account, it was all for the country. That is why I saw there is a Chamber of Commerce involved, uh, meaning that the money, obviously, the proceeds from the way government works, proceeds will have to go back to, to government uh, coffers. So my take on this is that I think there's no halabaloo. Uh, we should not cry wolf uh, when we see a puppy.